Viva la Evening, an ode to the lost festivals of 2020. Long live the smouldering perfume of your dressing up box. Long live the rose hips thrown at sleeping window sills under jewelry eyed skies. Long live the lunatic marzipan moon, the morning severed by half sleep's languid shadow. Bask in the happy, be deep voices that sing. Long live the primrose way to the eternal bonfire. You stopped to cry forever on the cold, hard shoulder of the kitchen floor, the brooding darkness like a drunken mind, yet here you are in your purple, your fresh cloud, your special dancing hat. So long live the evenings with wine and wise people, the diamond on vinyl crackling. Let's gather round and warm ourselves on our stories. Hello, happy St. Bridget's Day. Last year, we gathered together in the Glasgow Women's Library and celebrated the creativity of Irish women in the media. This year, because we can't do that, we're bringing Bridget home to you. And again, focusing on her creativity with these beautiful poems. In partnership with our friends in the Scottish Government Office in Dublin, Poetry Ireland and the Scottish Poetry Library, we're delighted to share with you these four poems by Julie Morrissey and Iona Lee. We hope that you'll join us in finding the spirit of Bridget in these poems. Of course, her creativity, as we often reflect on, but this year, also her healing and nurturing. I think we need that this year. So please enjoy the poems, share them with your friends, reflect on what Bridget means to you, and why it's important that we remember to celebrate what she's left us as a legacy. We hope you enjoy them. Hello and a happy St Bridget's Day from the team at the Scottish Government Office in Ireland. On this day of the Irish matron saint of poets, I'm delighted that the hugely talented Scottish poet Iona Lee's work contributed to this short film. This is what I know will be the first of many Scottish-Irish cultural and artistic collaborations this year and in the years to come. Our shared cultural, artistic and indeed lyrical traditions continue to be a golden thread that weave together the relationship between our two countries. I hope you really enjoy your day. Goodbye. There are too many street corners, too many dark places to throw eyes around, too many feelings to swallow and hold. They get stuck in teeth, moshed in chests, mingle. I have seen the towers from every angle, from Bull Island on bicycles. We reconstruct nature, resurrect trees, from the pier and the dock, from inside the walls of the room we go to learn how to see things in the world that are not there. Yesterday, we stared from mountains, the highest view possible while still standing on grass, toes curled to the open side of the bay, to the barb of the towers. I go down to the beach to notice things. The homegrown happiness, the boats tethered on their painters, the whipped white fringing of each wave, the lady whose hat reminds me that life is good. It is nice to see such a positive affirmation on a baseball cap. It feels like the earth's very shore. If you were that way inclined, I suppose you might say that it feels a little closer to heaven. Hilariously so. Yesterday, I saw dolphins leaping in the bay and people always wish for dolphins when nearing the edge. The sea is postcard blue. 
the sand cold with clean light, and benches bear the names of those who have loved this island before. They come in crowds off the ferry, stung by the view with the serene, ceremonious air of holy people. Where does one pilgrimage to without a god to visit there? I get the feeling that everyone working in the hotel with me is running from something. But running from and running to look very similar. We need these small worlds to draw a circle around ourselves, to step in. And it is small. I cycled from one end of this earth to the other in a lunchtime, stopping only to admire the rock pools, the respite from the brimming ocean. I had forgotten how fun it is to freewheel down a hill. I had forgotten what it is to startle birds to flight. My world keeps getting louder and larger with every passing year. My mind is so full of voices. Maybe I am shrinking. Maybe I am just far away, growing further away from the arrogance of youth. I keep thinking how, if you had a god to call your own, you would be in such close conversation with the sky. You would be so significant. Your life would have a plot. You would find yourself in everything. They call this island a thin place. Say that the skin between heaven and earth is more translucent here. And when I am serving someone soup, I can look up and literally see the sky's conclusion, the scene between where the two dimensions meet. And I don't need faith to find that sacred. It does the thing to me too, where words fall and all that remains is the light. Can't we swim together? Capture your eyes and come away. Palm on palm, no tongues or lips, not deep breathing, but tenderness. I felt it yesterday, interstitch, rupture, from two feet away in round table discussion. And now, I want you to come to the beach with me and swim. I've never been in the Pacific Ocean with a poet before. You and I could feel things together across landscapes and rivers, tower blocks and car parks, somewhere between your eye cloud and mine. I'm not talking romance, but heart. Mm.